Good morning and happy Holy Wednesday. Take a moment to acknowledge each other's presence as we turn to the people around us. Let's also take this occasion to continually lift each other up in prayer and remember to pray for those who are in harm's way, especially in Ukraine. We remember families that struggle, those who serve in the front lines and first responders. Our entrance song is the Servant Song. <clears throat> what do you want of me, Lord? Where do you want me to serve you? Where can I sing your praises? I am your song, Jesus, Jesus, you are the Lord, Jesus, Jesus, you the way. <clears throat> In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> Gathered to celebrate the sacred mysteries, we call upon Jesus our Lord, who only wants from us a humble and a contrite heart. You are our help, Kiri Elehison, Kiri Elehison. You give us your heavenly food, Christ Elehison. Son, you forgive our sins. Kirihie Elehison. Kirihie Elehison. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, who willed your Son to submit for our sake to the yoke of the cross, so that you might drive from us the power of the enemy. Grant us, your servants, to attain the grace of the resurrection. To our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God has given me a well-trained tongue that I might know how to speak to the weary, a word that will rouse them. Morning after morning, he opens my ear that I may hear, and I have not rebelled, have not turned back. I gave my back to those who beat me and my cheeks to those who plucked my beard. My face I did not shield from the buffets and the spitting. The Lord God is my help, therefore I am not disgraced. I have set my face like flint, knowing that I shall not be put to shame. He is near who upholds my right. If anyone wishes to oppose me, let us appear together. 
Who disputes my right? Let him confront me. See, the Lord, God, is my help. Who will prove me wrong? The word of the Lord. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. For your sake I bear insult, and shame covers my face. I have become an outcast to my brothers, a stranger to my mother's sons, because zeal for your house consumes me, and the insults of those who blaspheme you fall upon me. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Insult has broken my heart. I am weak. I looked for sympathy, but there was none. For consolers, not one could I find. Rather, they put gall in my food, and my thirst, and for my thirst, they gave me vinegar to drink. Lord, in your great love, answer me. I will praise the name of God in song. I will glorify him with thanksgiving. See you lowly ones and be glad. You who seek God, may your hearts revive. For the Lord hears the poor, and his own who are in bonds he spurns not. Lord, in your great love, answer me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Hail to you, our King, obedient to the Father. You were led to your crucifixion like a gentle lamb to the slaughter. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. One of the twelve called Judas Iscariot, went to the chief priests and said, What are you willing to give me if I hand him over to you? They paid him 30 pieces of silver, and from that time on he looked for an opportunity to hand him over. On the first day of the Feast of the Unleavened Bread, the disciples approached Jesus and said, Where do you want us to prepare for you to eat the Passover? He said, Go into the city to a certain man and tell him, The teacher says, My appointed time draws near. In your house I shall celebrate the Passover with my disciples. The disciples did as Jesus had ordered and prepared the Passover. When it was evening, he reclined at table with the twelve. And while eating, he said, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. Deeply distressed at this, they began to say to him one after another, Surely it is not I, Lord. He said in reply, He who has dipped his hand into the dish with me is the one who will betray me. The Son of Man indeed goes as it is written of him, but woe to that man by whom the Son of Man is betrayed. It would be better that that man, for that man if he had never been born. Then Judas, his betrayer, said in reply, Surely it is not I, Rabbi. He answered, You have said so. The Gospel of the Lord. Just a few moments ago, 
I was uh, thinking and reflecting on the gospel because for the longest time, even when I was a teenager, uh, especially when I was a teenager and started to question things, Judas has been a dilemma to me because is he in heaven? Is he saved? Is he, is he, was he really destined? Was he really born to betray our Lord Jesus and to die by hanging himself in desperation? And I felt really, there was a time that I really felt bad for him. And even up to now, like, uh, when you think about him, you kind of say, wow, one person, one man. And I remember when I was a teenager, Judas, uh, well, G Judas, Jesus Christ Superstar was very popular. And at the end of that musical, Jesus Christ Superstar, Judas was dancing. So somehow when I, when I was discussing it with a friend and was saying, well, Judas is in heaven. Did you not see G Jesus Christ Superstar? And I was saying, maybe it's that musical is not about Jesus. Maybe it's about Judas Superstar because at the end, he was the one dancing. But then I came upon across one reflection about uh, the gospel for today. And it says there that discipleship involves God's call of love and our response. And that always is the, di the dynamic of a discipleship. And then I looked at my life and I say, where were the times that I betrayed our Lord Jesus? by committing sin or by committing a mortal sin for which he suffered on the cross. It doesn't happen in just one instant. I, I consider it as an escalation of the divide. Since Monday, we were told the story of how Judas approached his discipleship. He was scheming from what they were supposed to give to the poor. That's why he, he criticized the perfumed oil that Mary uh, wash the poured on the on, on our Lord Jesus and wiped with her hair. Yesterday we are reminded of how that action of our Lord Jesus dipping the morsel and giving it to Judas was his opportunity that in our gospel today it's opportunity to finally betray our Lord Jesus. So when our Lord Jesus in the Gospel of John was giving his farewell discourse. And it's a long discourse about his love, about their mission, about what's going to happen, trying to make them see and understand. Judas was already not there. It was just an escalation of him being farther and farther away from God to the point that when he betrayed our Lord Jesus, it was already nothing to him. But it was only after when guilt, shame, embarrassment, and remorse took hold of him. And in that darkness, instead of being reminded of the call, because God, Jesus, did not choose him to, as a disciple to be his betrayer. It was his choice to betray our Lord Jesus. It was his choice to escalate that divide. It was his choice that even in the midst of his shame, of his guilt, of his embarrassment, of betraying Jesus and seeing what Jesus was undergoing. And instead of asking perhaps for the mercy of God, he allowed the darkness to consume him. And that is why he ended his life in despair. Sometimes we go through the end of the Lenten journey not feeling that we are loved, not feeling that when sometimes we become scrupulous and say, is there any other sin I have not confessed? Right? Instead of allowing to say, I'm now at the end of the journey and I tried my very best. It wasn't perfect, but I know God loves me. I know that the Lord will come to my rescue. Whatever burden, whatever it is that we are carrying, when we enter into the Paschal mystery starting tomorrow or to the Paschal festivities, starting tomorrow, remember, we are re we celebrating our, the depthness, the depth of the love of God, which will unfold. 
And that deafness of the love of God is calling upon us not just to feel guilty or shame or embarrassed for our sin, but to rejoice that we are loved and to celebrate that and to be strengthened by that and to testify to that. And I think that is what something that we must, we continue, should continue to reflect upon as we enter tomorrow. That loving call of God for each one of us. Even that loving call this morning and the grace that we're able to come together in the Eucharist. And what it is that we partake in our celebration. And who it is that comes into our lives. And I think that should help us approach the <clears throat> Easter Triduum with an openness of heart, a contriteness of spirit, and a love seeking to encounter that divine and perfect love. As we approach Good Friday with confidence in our loving God, let us recall the saving action of Jesus, his servant. Our response, Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those who suffer unjustly may receive God's comfort through a clean conscience. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That our own sufferings may strengthen our faith in the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those among us who are putting off making their confession because of pride, fear, or laziness may come to the realization of the need for God's forgiveness. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That the sick and all those who suffer may experience the healing presence of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. That those who have died may share in Christ's resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. We lift up to the Lord the intentions and petitions we hold in our hearts for our families and our loved ones. And we pray for the intentions for whom this Mass is offered, for the intentions of Matthew Burgos and the eternal repose of the souls of Rudy Palacio and Felisa Carlos. We pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. And we lift up the intentions we have received and join in thanksgiving Ted Kagampang, and pray for those who are in need of God's strength and healing. For Araceli Montero, Jovi Krukai, Nicole Pahar, Jose Marie Veloso, John Denny, Benildo Loyola, Roger Inson Jr., Marcelina Musni, and Rika Madlangbayan. We pray to the Lord. Father, <coughs> bless us in the blood of Christ and for the eternal repose of the souls of Lucila Ramos, Alfonso Plata Villacorta, as well as in silence remembering the intentions we, we have placed <clears throat> in the Ark of Prayer chest. We pray to the Lord. Father, bless us in the blood of Christ. Lord God, you gave us the example of your Son to show us how to live and die. Grant us the faith we need to follow him. We ask this through Christ our Lord.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may be accepted by you, O Lord. Sacrifice your sight this day, be pleasing to you, Lord. Lord, wash away my iniquities, cleanse me, kill and sins. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings made here, and graciously grant that celebrating your Son's passion and mystery, we may experience the grace of its effects through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him, the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Sanctus, Sanctus, Sanctus Dominus Deus Abavoth, Plenis Uncheli et Terra, Gloria Tua, Hosanna in excelsis, Benedictus, qui venit in nomine Domini, Hosanna in excelsis. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
the mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, Santiago de Compostela, and with all the saints on this constant intercession in your presence, we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, your servant Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, Thomas, and Todd, his brother bishops, the order of bishops, all the priests, deacons, religious, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. <clears throat> Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, qui tolis peccata mundi, miserere nobis. Agnus Dei, Qui tolis peccata mundi, dona nobis pacem.
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Communion Antiphon, the Son of Man did not come to be served, but to serve, and to give his life as a ransom for many. For those among us who are worshiping online and for those who are unable to receive our Lord Jesus sacramentally, we join them in prayer. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. And thou was Almighty God with a firm conviction that through your Son's death in time to which the revered mysteries bear witness, we may be assured of perpetual life through Christ our Lord. Please do not forget uh, that I'm leaving by next Monday if, for your petitions that you write in a small piece of paper, not on stone, so that I can carry it with me during the days of the Camino. Second is, when I was a kid, one of the things that makes Holy Week also special is when we would go Easter egg hunting. So that's not... It's not every day you do that, right? You don't have breakfast and say, look for your egg, <laughs> so that you may have breakfast. Um, Lily has, in the past few years, together with some other people before, she was doing it on her own, to prepare Easter eggs for our kids. If you have time to spare, after the 8 o'clock Mass, they will be assembling this Easter egg. So if you can come and help, if you have the free time, then it will be one day that we can... When we, when we assemble the Easter egg, say a prayer for these children too, that they may not remember Easter um, just because of the eggs, but remember that it's a joyous celebration. Let's now pray to our loving Mother in Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. To St. Joseph, hail guardian of the Redeemer, spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son, in you Mary place her trust, with you Christ was secure and safe. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father and guide us to the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage, and defend us from every evil. Amen. St. Michael, Defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. And may God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, cast unto hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Lord be with you. Bow down for the blessing. Grant your faithful, O Lord, we pray, to partake unceasingly of the paschal mysteries and to await with longing the gifts to come, that persevering in the sacraments of their rebirth, they may be led by Lenten works to newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Our recessional song is the summons. Will you come and follow me if I but call your name? Will you go where you don't know and never be the same? Will you let my love be shown? Will you let my name be known? Will you let my life be grown in you and you in me? Will you leave yourself behind if I but call your name? Will you care for cruel and kind and never be the same? Should your days the hostile still stare? Should your life attract or scare? Will you let me answer prayer in you and you? in me. Have a holy day, everyone.